It is a great day right here in the Chattahoochee Valley and you are tuned in to Columbus Connection. We have a spectacular show with a great interview planned just for you. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Kelly, the host of Columbus Connection. You know, my job is to bring awesome events, great people, and amazing things happening in our community right into your home. Today is not an exception to that rule. I have with me none other than my good friend, and she has started an amazing organization called Grannies on Guard. Grannies Without on further ado, I want to bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Rashida Ali. Thank you, How are you so doing? much. And because of one word, yes. Hello, everybody. <laughs> you are indeed a queen. Thank you. You are Thank indeed you. a queen. Thank you for having me. Yes. This yes. is exciting to absolutely. And who knew? Yes, I know. I, I've, I've known you for quite some time. Yes. I, I love to say, and I was telling you off air that um, when I first met you, you just had a very calming energy. Thank you. A very calming spirit about you. And so I, I want to dig into the genesis of Rashida Ali. Oh. I want to go all the way to oh. the fun stuff. All the Let's, way back. I want to go all the way back. <laughs> hey, because I know you have some amazing things going on, some events that are happening in the community yes. that, that mm -hmm. you're here to talk about. But for those of, of us who, who know you, um, I've learned just a little bit about your story. Mm -hmm. But I have some people who were asking me, they said, hey, can we, can, can we know her, the, 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 the young lady? Oh can, can we get to young Rashida <laughs> Ali? Okay. Can, we, can we talk a little bit about that? Okay, sure. Yes, ma'am. Well, I am a girl that is a uh, native of Columbus, Georgia. Okay. I was born right downtown on uh, fifth, 6th Street, mm -hmm. 6th Avenue, okay. Booker T. Washington Apartments. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But way back when. Yeah. <laughs> My mom didn't have time to get to the hospital, so the doctor came to her wow. and delivered me right there in mm, the apartment. Yeah. I did a video about that driving by one day. I said, I was born right there. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up and yeah. went to Fifth Avenue Elementary School mm -hmm. uh, and it ended up at Marshall Junior, which was Spencer's mm -hmm. first location, mm -hmm. but it became Marshall Junior by the time I got there. Yeah. And then I graduated in 1965 wow. from William H. Spencer High School when yeah. it was on Shepherd, Shepherd Drive. Okay. Okay. From there, I went to Tuskegee for a short time. Mm -hmm. It was cool. Yeah. The, what, what the adults wanted me to major in wasn't what I wanted to major in. Okay. I found myself in Carnegie Hall at Tuskegee wow. at night wow. by myself playing yeah. a piano. Playing the piano. When I should have been studying yeah. my <laughs> English and what have you. Anyway, I yeah. came home from Tuskegee. Mm -hmm. I tried to get into the military. Okay. I wanted to do the Air Force. Mm. But back in the 60s, yes. the WAF, mm -hmm. W-A-F, Women mm -hmm. in the Air Force, uniform mm -hmm. had to look a certain way. Yeah. I hope I don't get in trouble for yeah. saying all of this, but yeah. it, this is real. Yeah. I was a chunky little girl, yeah. okay? <laughs> I wasn't fat. Yeah. I had big bones. Yeah. And so they wanted me to weigh something like 135 pounds. Yeah. I told my mom, I said, Mom, if you took everything away except the bones, <laughs> the bones would weigh more than 135. Yeah. So from there, I ended up going up north. Okay. I had started going for summer vacation to mm -hmm. New Jersey mm -hmm. to, you know, hang out with my cousins. Mm -hmm. But once I graduated, once I tried college, once I tried the military, mm -hmm. and I mean, I passed the test. Mm -hmm. I went to Atlanta, passed another test with the military. Mm -hmm. And the last thing they did was put me on the scales mm. and said, you weigh too much. <laughs> I cried all the yeah, way back home from Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Next thing I know, it's time to make a decision. Mm. 1968, mm. the year Dr. King was murdered. Yeah. Oh, how about the week I was supposed to go? Yeah. My mother said, no, no, no mm. traveling this weekend. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> but I finally made my way to Jersey. Mm -hmm. I lived with my cousins for a minute, mm -hmm. and I do mean I'm a hot minute. A hot minute. And I got a job with the Musicians Union. Wow. That was the first job in New wow. York. 
And then I, it was in Jersey. The mm -hmm. president's office was in Jersey. Mm -hmm. So I had that job, but then I had a friend. Mm -hmm. That was the plan from when we were girls. Right. Leave Columbus, yeah. go to New York. Okay. And so she was already in New York. Okay. My mom was holding out. Yeah. But we wore her down. Yeah. Got registered there. <laughs> Miss Rose, a lot of people in Columbus knew my mom. Yeah. Anyway, I finally get to New York. Mm -hmm. I get, in New York, you know, they send you for job interviews, mm -hmm. you go through an agency. Okay. So the agency sized me up, okay. and one of them said, you know, you might do well at a radio station. Mm. I'm like, really? Yeah. Well, now, I had got my former training mm. at Mildred Terry, which was then 4th Avenue Library, because yeah. I was one of the kids that went into the first media center. Wow and recorded my voice wow. and put on a set of headphones. Yeah. That happened as a little girl. I don't know if it's why I'm who I became, yeah. but that was like yeah. something in the early days right. that made me yeah. even want to talk to a recorder. Yeah. Well, I, I definitely believe that that your your formidable years as 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 a child. I, I truly believe that that was a part of your life's timeline and plan. I didn't uh, know. Knowing <laughs> that you know those those things that you were doing then were only preparing you, serving to prepare you for, for your time in to, in, in, in New York. Uh, talk talk a little bit about you. You were speaking of you know all the musicians and things like that. Oh we my. were off air. And, and you being you know, being a musician yourself, playing the piano. Talk a little bit about that. Are you oh my you still doing that now? Oh yeah. Okay. The piano came to me as a little girl. Mm -hmm. It was no taller than y your table between yeah. us. It <laughs> wasn't even that tall. Yeah. One of those little ones look, okay. looked like a real piece of furniture. Mm -hmm. My mother bought that for me when I was probably about seven years old. Yeah. I kept it until I was 18. Wow. I played the boogie woogie. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> learned to play the boogie woogie. But I played the boogie woogie and I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. So believe it or not, in the projects back in the day, mm -hmm. it was nothing to go in a house that had a piano. Yeah. I mean, a real big upright against the wall piece of furniture right, piano. Right, right, yeah. And yeah. I had no Real shame. wood. Real yeah. wood, that's right. <laughs> and I had no shame in my game. Yeah. I knock on the door. Yeah. This, this <laughs> is my story. Miss mm -hmm. Johnny Mae, could I please play your piano? <laughs> she had two kids that were going to music lessons. Okay. Kids were strange back then. Right. They didn't want it, and they didn't want anybody yeah. else to have it. <laughs> I'm not going to call your name out. <laughs> but I would ask anybody that had a piano in mm -hmm. the neighborhood mm -hmm. if I could play their piano. Yeah. I have history. Right. I played Kim Porter's grandmother's piano. Wow. I played uh, Miss Johnny Mae Hurd's piano. Mm -hmm. I played mm -hmm. other pianos. Yeah. And it was the fetish that yeah. I had about a piano. Right. So I went on to teach myself how to play what I knew how to play. Right. Uh, Stand by me. Yeah. And simple stuff. Yeah. All the yeah. bubble gum changes. I and love as it. a yes. musician, you know what yes. I'm talking Absolutely. about. Yes, absolutely. So anyway, I kept playing, learning, playing. And not. I read music because I was in Spencer High School's band. Right. I played flute and piccolo. Yeah. I was the first to do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. I was first girl in Muskogee County School District mm -hmm. to play the piccolo. Wow. They used to give the, mm -hmm. the school district gave instruments to the mm -hmm. schools back in the day. What, and what, what year was, was, was this? Back in between 61 and 65. Wow. I'm a 65 graduate of Spencer, wow. so around 63 okay. when I joined the band. Okay. They gave us instruments. Right. And Mr. Simon Leon Brown, our mm -hmm. band director, mm -hmm. he says, here, mm -hmm. piccolo about this big. <laughs> he says, you're going to play the piccolo. So we went on, mm -hmm. long story short, yeah. musician after musician in my adult life. Wow. Um, or sons of musicians. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so two great men entered my life wow. as music. Three, actually. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Innocente is mm -hmm. out in Bremerton, Washington. Mm -hmm. He plays with the band now, and he's on a building in London yeah. if they haven't painted over it yet. Wow. Then there was my oldest son's uh -huh. father, mm -hmm. whose name is Rahman Ali, yeah. formerly Gregory Davis. Okay. Gregory Miles Davis. Yeah. And yes, he yeah. is Miles Davis' son. The Miles Davis. The Miles Davis. Yeah. Wow. Uh, who could have told me, girl, please stop trying to play that organ because yeah. we were in the three three story mm -hmm. family house. Mm -hmm. He was a Nice guy to me. Yeah. And he had a bad reputation that was laid on him 
for turning his back to the audience. Yeah. But he's the band director, and right. that's what band directors that's, do. That's what they do. Enough of yeah, that story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, uh, so he became my, my father-in-law, yeah, okay. in, in a sense. Mm -hmm. And then I came back home and met another musician, because New York, I had had enough of New yeah, York City. Yeah. And his name was M Matthew Berry, okay. and he's my youngest son's father, Corrine Berry. Wow. And wow. they call him Matus. Yeah. Matus, like the wine. Right. Spelled a little different. Yeah. But that that's my life. Now, right. going on with mm -hmm. musicians, Al Breeze, I played with mm -hmm. him. Doug Norman mm -hmm. uh, has come by, and we just yeah. kind of jammed yeah. together. Yeah. And I just want to play, but I'm shy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm shy. <laughs> <laughs> so you you on the radio I'm uh, here here in Columbus. Columbus, Georgia. And, and like you were saying off, off air, you've had over 50 years in, in that business, so you've seen a lot. I mean, I, I learned you were one of the first names that I learned as far as radio personalities when I when I relocated from Ohio mm -hmm. uh, about 12 years ago. Uh, okay. People kept telling me you need <laughs> to get to know uh, Miss Rashida, Miss Rashida Ali. And I said, oh, man, wow. her name pops. Oh, I mean, she, she sounds like a, a celebrity already. And then getting to know you, you've you've just really been a genuine sweet spirit. So I want to give you. you your flowers while you can receive them. Thank you. And I want to thank you thank for what you've done as far as publicity with things that I have done in this community. Okay. And, and I I, I want to touch on that. Um, okay. You know, as as we move along here. Uh, you, you, there's a lot of issues sometimes going on in, in our communities uh, that that are uh, that that go unseen, mm -hmm. um, and and sometimes when these things make the news, we're heartbroken. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, those of us that are really involved, because sometimes we we blame ourselves and we say, "Man, I should have seen that." You know, mm -hmm. I, I was just there, or I know people mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. sector of the community. Why didn't I see it before it happened? How could I have prevented that? Right. And so. With your expertise, with your uh, background in radio, uh, knowing entertainers, like you said, the mm -hmm. world over. I mean, you, you, you covered that, and that's just a fraction of your story. <laughs> what have you began to do to try to address some of these issues in our community from the radio to various organizations? Can you talk a little bit about some of the initiatives that you have going on today? Well, I've, I've always been an advocate for registering people to vote. Okay. Um, fortunately, my oldest son dated Tonza okay. Thomas, yes. who at the time was secretary for the state of Georgia yes. Yes. with the Nowhere NAACP well. and mm -hmm. then became the president and now the executive director up yeah. in Atlanta. Wow. wow. So with her, mm -hmm. we, we pushed registering, mm -hmm. got that out there. I retired from radio in 2008 okay. and for 10 years I never even listen to radio. Wow. I was wow. doing other things, mm -hmm. what they called reinventing myself. Yes, yes, yes. So during yes. that time, I was real heavy duty with mm -hmm. registering people to vote and mm -hmm. getting ready for the elections. Okay. 2008 election, of course, when yeah. President then Obama was right. put in office, all of that. Mm -hmm. But then it seemed that I, I came back to radio in 10 years, mm -hmm. in 2018. Yeah. That's when some things seem to have been happening more across the country mm -hmm. with young children doing right. things that were just outrageous. Right, right. So with that happening and coming on up to 2021, mm -hmm. which is one of the reasons I'm, I'm going to mm -hmm. talk with you today, I lost my grandson. I'm sorry to hear that. To gun violence. Yeah. Can't talk about that much because even though it happened in 2021, we still don't know who did it. Right. We don't. Nobody knows wow. just yet. Wow. But I know, wow. I know that wow. that day is coming. Yeah. But it, here's the deal. I was telling you off camera that I had a conversation with a young lady mm -hmm. about my life, mm -hmm. just sort of like what we're doing. But we had the whole time right. to just talk about it. Right. And somewhere in the middle of that conversation, the conver it went to talking about the violence that was going on in the community mm -hmm. and it was young children mm -hmm. that were doing this. Okay. I said there's something that has to be done yeah. about what's going on with our young children. Mm -hmm. The seniors have to come together right. and do something. Yeah. Now that was on October 17th. Right. On October 12th that year, my birthday, mm -hmm. my oldest grandson who was 15 had gotten shot mm. as well. Okay. But he got shot first. Wow. So on the 17th, I'm thinking, let's get him well, mm -hmm. let him get through this, right. whatever he was doing that was right. not kosher, mm -hmm. hopefully he'll be better now. Mm -hmm. 
Seven days later, on the 21st, my other grandson, his brother, was murdered. Wow. I didn't know wow. that was going to happen wow. right. when I said that the elders right. need to come together and right. do something. Right. But it happened. Mm -hmm. So on that very same day, a young lady called and said, Miss Rashida, mm -hmm. maybe you can get with the elders or the parents mm -hmm. or aunts and uncles, sisters, mm -hmm. brothers, mm -hmm. anybody that's got kids in their lives, mm -hmm. and, and y'all do something. Yeah. Do like the people used to do us when we were younger. Mm -hmm. They took us to the park. Yes. We had cookouts. Yes. We yes. played baseball. Yes. The boys threw Absolutely. horseshoes and shot yeah. marbles. Yeah. The yeah. girls yeah. did jump yeah. rope and double right. mm -hmm. I said, I believe I could do that. I, right. ca I can see it. Yeah. I remember my childhood. Right. And I'm having this conversation yeah. with Tanza. Okay. And after the conversation, Tanza said, well, what would you, what would you do with the kids? Mm -hmm. I said, I think I would just have fun. Mm -hmm. Set up something where it can just be a fun right. day. Right, right. She said, oh, okay, right. okay. I said, because they're kids. Right. And that's right. what's that's happening. Mm -hmm. The kids were getting too grown too fast. Yeah. So I felt, to answer your question, mm -hmm. let's do something to keep young kids mm -hmm. young kids. Yeah. Because we learned that they were g carrying weapons. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Smoking weed yeah. or oh, pot yes. or whatever. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. dealing with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So I said, we're going to have fun. So Tanza came back in the room. She says, what you going to call it? Yeah. I said, I have no idea what <laughs> I'm going to call it. And about five minutes later, mm -hmm. she walked back in the room. She says, I got it. I know what you can call it. Yeah. I said, what's that, Tanza? She said, Granny's Own Guard. Wow. And wow. It, Granny's Own wow. Guard was born. Yeah, and that was three years ago. That was three, three years, years ago. ago. Okay. Tanza created a Facebook group page. Yeah. We have yeah. 358 members. That is awesome. People That's join. Awesome. That's they awesome. They join to see what we're doing. Okay. When we physically do something, okay. I have had about 15, 20 mm -hmm. grannies to show up. Okay. And we get together and put yeah. on a GOG mm -hmm. fun day event. Okay with no electronics. Yeah, wow. Now that is key that you that, that you mentioned no electronics. Oh yeah, that's Because it. in today's society, one of the reasons as to why kids are growing up so quickly is because they have these electronic gizmos and gadgets mm -hmm. and uh, they're not encouraged anymore mm -mm. to go outside and play. Right. You know, my, my, my mother uh, is from an old school generation. My father's from an old school generation and so they kicked us out of the house. Oh, in yeah. the summer, we ran all around the neighborhood. We're climbing trees, we're right. jumping fences, we're skipping rocks, it's we're doing all of that but you had these grandmotherly figures almost in every neighborhood yeah that in the summer you had a tall glass of lemonade yes in the winter you know you had that warm glass of milk those chocolate chip cookies that mm -hmm. cake that pie mm -hmm. but she also had a paddle hanging up in the kitchen oh, yeah. as well <laughs> just oh, to yeah. remind you to stay in line Look, <laughs> and, and I tell people even right. when I you know speak of the childhood and mm -hmm. the women that let mm -hmm. me play their piano or mm -hmm. whatever I, I said I don't know. I, I didn't know that Tupac yeah. was going to write a song yeah. about me. <laughs> By the way, I worked with his mother in New York, too. Wow. But wow. <laughs> some people wow. said, well, what song did Tupac write yeah. about you? I said, all eyes on me. Yeah. <laughs> because all the women in the neighborhood yeah. was yeah. everybody's oh, yeah. mother was yeah. somebody else's mother. Absolutely. And if my Absolutely. mom took worked all day, yeah, yeah. it Absolutely. took the village to raise. It took the village. It took the village. And, and so I, I want to, because your, your story is extensive. I, I would love for us to have more time uh, and maybe we can do this again hopefully if our I schedules match we can to. get you back in here and we can talk a little bit more. Okay. Uh, like, like I said a shameless plug we, we have the new podcast for the city as well an, an umbrella under the umbrella of CCG TV called The Purpose okay. and we would love to have you come back on oh, and we can talk some more I but see. I know you all have an event that yes. I, I've seen on I've seen some flyers on social media yes. uh, and, and this is a part of Granny's on guard can you yes. talk about this this event that's coming up where it's at how people can okay. get involved uh, time all and right. location real all real quick we yes, are having a benefit dinner and okay. show okay it's free okay to come in mm -hmm. it's a benefit though okay. it's the purpose of it is to raise money for my Granny's on guard group okay when we have activities with the children mm -hmm. I, in the past, have gotten with the, uh, with the recreation directors, mm -hmm. recreation center directors, mm -hmm. with Columbus Parks and Rec, or people at different churches, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, I got a group. We have a group called Granny Zone Guard. Mm -hmm. We target children 12 years and younger. Okay. There's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. 
And when we do that, this, we want you, director, mm -hmm. to pick your children. Okay. If you can gather us up some children mm -hmm. on whatever day you say, mm -hmm. the grannies on guard will come and we'll do the rest. Wow. You just find the children, okay. tell us what day you're going to have mm -hmm. your event, what yeah. time, and we will come with the rest. Okay. Now, what's the rest? The grannies on guard themselves will show up. We talk to the, the kids. Mm -hmm. We teach them, help me. Yeah. That's yeah. real important, y'all. Yeah. Help me. Mm -hmm. That's the sign language that little children need to know right. in case somebody snatches them up right. and run away with them. Absolutely. Help me. Yeah. That goes over real big because mm -hmm. at the end of the evening, we ask the kids, what did you learn tonight? Yeah. And they'll help, help you yeah. know? So then after we teach them, and each granny has an opportunity to say something mm -hmm. to the children, mm -hmm. we move into that hour of fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Games, hula hoops, mm -hmm. jacks, yeah. basketball relays, yeah. whatever we want to do, right. the kids get so involved. And this is a free event? This is a so free event. Okay. Okay. What it takes is money right. to get the food because Absolutely. I believe children Absolutely. should eat. Right. I right. know that when school is yeah. going on, they may get breakfast and lunch. Yeah. But then after lunch, my thought went to, yeah. when is that child going to eat again? eat again? You know, that's so important you say that. I was speaking to an educator here in Columbus, and they said that very same thing. They said, we believe that, that children must be healthy yeah. mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, financially. Uh, and then, of course, educationally as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the event, where, where is the, the location of the okay. event? What, what time our, does this Our benefit start? concert will be held at the F&W, okay. the newly re remodeled okay. F&W wow. awesome. Control Tower. Thank that you, Mr. Awesome. Washington. Yes. Thank you, Jody yes. and yes. DJ yes. Skeet. Yes. They gave me the club. Wow. I'm going to call it awesome. a supper club. The yeah. queen's putting her name on it. Yeah. It's a supper <laughs> club. Okay, for yeah. all you people that don't want to come <laughs> to a club, it's a supper <laughs> club. We're going to have dinner that yes, night. Yes, yes. Okay, that is so awesome. it'll be wow. 8 p.m. Okay. May 31st at okay. the F&W Control Tower. Okay. Again, it's a benefit concert. Mm -hmm. So we are asking for donations at the door, anywhere right. 15 to $20. Yeah. But you're going to get a show. Yeah, and a, and, and a, and a meal. And a meal. And, and, and let's talk about oh. some of these artists. I mean, because I, I myself, I, I know a lot of these artists. I've, I've worked with them. I mean, you have people like, what, Tony Parkman? Oh, have, Tony yeah. Parkman, yeah. Peggy Jenkins. Peggy, wow. Uh, Lady Coco. Okay, set Lady Coco Jay Lai, the gentleman. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, Remedy. Yes. Uh, yeah. It goes on. A uh, young lady does jazz, C. La Fay. C. La Fay, yeah. Uh, Tony Parkman works yeah. with a young lady named yeah. Mahogany. Yes. They're going to be yeah, there. I know Mahogany. And I yeah. just. On another TV, mm -hmm. uh, one of the local channels interviewed me. Yeah. A man saw my number pop up on the bottom of the screen. Uh -huh. He called me. He says, Miss Rashid, I just heard you. Yeah. My name is Eugene Gino Burke. Yeah, I think. Okay. 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 He says, I sing and I yeah. just want to be a part of your just show. Be a part of. But he was so nice. Yeah. I said, Well, yeah. let me talk with Tony because right. Tony's right. putting things together. Yeah. It's I maybe know Rock is, 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 is Foxy, yeah, Roxy. Foxy, Rock, yes. Oh, and let me know her well. She's overcome so much. Yes. She's overcome so and, much. And she's going she really to open has. up with one, her new song, okay. I Am Still Here. Wow, that so is awesome. So that's the list, the lineup yeah. with the show. Yeah. That's an awesome show. Yeah, and, and it really is. And you know, that song, I Am Still Here, really speaks to grannies on guard. Oh, yeah. That grandmothers oh, yeah. are still here. I hadn't thought of and that. And we're not going anywhere. That's yeah, right. That is awesome. So that's at the F&W Control Tower. You said May the 31st, 8 right. p.m. 8 p.m. You're just asking for donations. It's technically That's free, right. but please give from you know your heart. Yes, wow. so and, and the money will go to the Granny Zone Guard organization yes. so that I can buy pizza, okay. Capri Suns, chips. Yeah. I encourage the mothers yeah. and fathers to come to the events with the children. Okay. We fix sandwiches for them wow. that they may like or they wow. may not like pizza. Right, right. But that's what we yeah. do. The event on the 31st, mm -hmm. though, is going to be partially catered by Mr. V. Oh, man. Okay. okay. So you got some good food coming and, in Oh, here. yeah. So I'm, and thank you all again for Absolutely. having me here Absolutely. to talk about yeah. it. Yeah. You know, Mike, I, I have to, to give a special shout out to Mike, Michael King. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike and I, we've, we've been friends for a long time. And he told me, he said, Chris, I really want you to get involved in some capacity. And uh, when this opportunity became available, I told him, I said, man, I just want to be a part of what you're trying to do because so many times 
in, in our communities, uh, you know, Columbus being the second largest community in the state of Georgia, right. we, we get a bad rap. Right. You know, people want to focus on the negative all the time. Right. Well, there's nothing to do. There's no place to go. Uh, the, the rise in crime, there's violence, all of those things. And we forget that every community in this world faces the same difficult challenges. Exactly. I think the real challenge, though, is making sure that we spotlight and highlight the positive, positive yeah. organizations, entities, yeah. and people like yourself that, that are doing wonderful things. Uh, and, and, and so often, especially in the social media realm, those great things are overlooked mm -hmm. because it's not good clickbait right. to talk about those positive things. But to me, grandmother's on guard, granny's on guard. Granny's on guard. Let granny's me, on guard. Let me I mean, speak about that. I have, I have young grandmothers. Mm -hmm. I have older grandmothers. Okay. The okay. word grannies yeah. doesn't mean that anybody has to be a granny to yeah. be a part of this organization. Yeah. So, do, so do you have glamos in, in, in your group? Glam <laughs> you know, that's the new word because I got yeah. one. Okay. She says, Miss Rashida, I don't want to be a called grandmother. A Why does it? And she knows she's in the right. media, so she right. kn yeah. knows I'm talking about her. <laughs> yeah. But it is for people that care about children. Yeah. Our slogan is, mm -hmm. if there are children in your neighborhood, yeah. There should be some grannies on guard. Wow, that is awesome. And that is awesome. Can you can you let us know one more time about your event, Grannies on Guard, the benefit concert and dinner, partially okay. catered by Mr. V's. Yes. Talk about where it's at, what time it starts, how people can get involved if they want to support your organization. Okay. Speak to um, that, please. It is May 31st, Friday, the last Friday of the month, at the FNW Control Tower, 401 Ford Drive. Uh, we, we're hoping for golf carts so we can yeah. show for people from their car to the yeah, door. Yeah, yeah. But you might have to walk if you don't get there early mm -hmm. enough. Uh, this is a benefit to support the Granny Zone Guard organization for the children in our community. Mm -hmm. And these are little children, 12 and under. Yeah. So please come out. Please support us. Yeah. Pass the word. You can cash out Royal Hook Crochet because that's another one of my businesses. Okay. And it, it, the funds that I get from that goes to Granny's on Guard. Right. Uh, you can also, you know, that little dollar sign with Cash App. Mm -hmm. I'm on Facebook, Rashida Ali. I work for 92.1 Smooth R&B. Mm -hmm. Anybody can ask anybody in town, how can I get in touch with Rashida? I have 3,000 friends wow. on Facebook. Wow. So please come. I, I have a PayPal. If you do PayPal, you can PayPal me or call me. May I give my phone number? Go right ahead. My business number, 706-464-8559. Call me. Hook up. Don't miss the show. <laughs> or you're going to be missing a real good one. Absolutely. Because next time, Chris Kelly's going to be involved. Yes, indeed, with the, I with will. With the singing. Yes, indeed, I will. <laughs> and, and, and hopefully I'm, I'm able to stop by, uh, yeah. you know, if, if, if my schedule will allow and on May the 31st. Again, F&W Control Tower, 8 p.m. And this is a benefit concert and dinner. Yes. Uh, a lot of local entertainment, yes. local artists, some of your fan favorites will yes. be there. We'll and so, be there. Rashida, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much more. for stopping by Columbus Connections, helping me connect you with Columbus. Okay. God bless you and all that you do. Thank, thank you so much. You. Thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to Columbus Connections. We'll see you next time.